Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, now playing. Well, that one is September 3rd. Uh, welcome back to the podcast. Today we got Gabe Kunda on the podcast, the voice of KO in the video game Valorant. Gabe, how are you yes. doing today? Doing pretty good, man. Can't complain. It's been a good day, a busy day, but all is well, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, all is good. Glad to be here. Your voiceover in movies and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mm -hmm. do want to ask, right off the rip, can we... Can you give us a little voiceover of like a trailer? Just something simple. Are you are you comfortable uh, uh, doing that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, let me see something that oh, okay. I can do this one. Marvel Studios Black Widow, now playing in select theaters. Now playing in theaters everywhere. That's uh that's Marvel and um Oh wait. Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, now playing. Well, that one is September 3rd. Um, Free promo on the podcast. <laughs> right. Let's see. I'm trying to think of uh, the Suicide Squad. Ready PG-13. Um, what's another <laughs> one? I'm trying to think. Um, well, actually, I think the Suicide Squad. Rated R. Um, <laughs> that one back in March. Raya and the Last Dragon. Only on Disney+. Plus. All this is like coming back to me like, oh my. Like, I've heard that. That's him. That's him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of other other stuff that I've... I mean... The big one when I found you was the NBA Finals. That was cool. Oh, yeah. That was a whole, like, monologue thing. Um, that was... was funny. I did the Western Conference, and then they were like, we'd like to bring you back for the actual NBA Finals. I'm like, bro, absolutely. <laughs> Can I? Like, sure. <laughs> And so I ended up doing all the, the games for that. And that was like, a, it was a dream come true for sure. Um, I would have never, ever, ever think I was gonna be doing that like anytime soon. So I, I'm i grateful. You know, for, this is four years of me doing this full time and to be able to work on something like that, which, you know, probably take, I don't know. I, I don't know everybody else's line, but I figured it would be like 10 years down the road. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to get the opportunity to do that, I mean, it carries a lot away from me, man. Those are hallmarks of my life and, and, and kind of points in my life that I can look to. It's like, oh, man, I did this. Um, I definitely plan on making like a, I don't know if a movie board where it just kind of have pins of just like all the, the big movies that I've done and the stuff I've got to work on. Especially when I, when I booked the Christopher Nolan film, Tenet, um, that was like Tenet, reading PG-13, that, that stuff. Um, that was back in the summer one of the longest campaigns i've ever done in my life like we started working on it in like march we didn't stop working on it till like i think it was the the movie ultimately came out in september so that never happens with the movie um but it was fun man christopher nolan was sitting there listening to all of my reads and giving a thumbs up thumbs down i wasn't in the room with him but he you know he it was like literally every night it was like we have to get this to christopher we have to get this i'm like oh my god <laughs> and so it's crazy it's crazy to me um <clears throat> to to think that to think that it goes through the ears of people that you look up to like those guys people like wait he doesn't know who i am but he hears me almost like every day because yeah. he's sitting there like you know it's it's wild when you think about it and i i really appreciate that like the fact that you're doing this when you know there's things that you probably could out or be doing otherwise not a lot of people give time to to just have a conversation especially with someone yeah. what, what you're doing and it's really nice to just be able to you know pick your brain and see a, like a good guy oh well i, I appreciate that it's I, I i enjoy it man because some um you know especially with the valorant stuff and i've had a lot of people reach out and tell me you know how much character means to them or like uh, even the work that i do in anime and and stuff and i always love listening to that and, and responding and engaging with with you know supporters and, and, and friends as, as what i call them i don't know i really like the term fans it's it's like yeah it's, it's weird I, I like friends supporters they're just kind of like people who kind of cheer you on and and stuff and so any if i can have a moment to do something like this i try to um just because it's also fun to get to know the other person and see what they do and it's the first time i'm i'm, I'm connecting with you on on this level so 
um yeah dude it's absolutely it's a pleasure of mine it really is i, I appreciate you thinking of me for this and... <laughs> no i i um i saw your stuff on tiktok and then i saw the other people that you had on and stuff and so i wanted to see more so i was like i'm gonna follow him he seems like a fun fun person a fun guy and he's got a cool setup and stuff and he's getting <laughs> some awesome reactions from the voice actors and stuff so you were cool in my book so i followed you. <laughs> <laughs> i watched some of your youtube videos last night i actually had a moment like not because you're who you are i was watching wow. your video and i said i like i didn't subscribe to you because i like it was you i subscribed to you because i was actually like i was like immersed in the video and it was the the microphone video oh yeah because and i because i'm big i'm big microphone guy i love microphones i was like i gotta subscribe to him and i was like oh yeah it's ko so was <laughs> second i love it yeah <laughs> i just want to nah. let you know that ko was second it was only because you ko so currently i'm um using the, the neumann tlm 103 yeah. Um, I have two of these bad boys. Yes. Um, you probably see it there. Right? It's I got the black version of it because I just like everything black. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and so that's kind of the things I'm using. I was first using, well, my very first mic was the the Rode NT1, mm -hmm. and then I moved from that to a Sennheiser 416, which is a uh, super kind of directional microphone, and you kind of see it in movies like they have it over like a boom mic, and yeah, you know when people are talking and stuff, and so. Um, and the reason why I did that was for mostly promos and trailers. With promos and trailers, um, it's good to have a mic that kind of cuts through and that is a very um, focused presence, like right there at, at, at your mouth and able to pick up every nook and cranny of your voice um, without getting things on the outside. And so it works great for, for that. And also it worked great as a travel mic as well. Yeah. So I was able to kind of take it around. And like, if I was in a hotel room with a lot of noise around and a lot of AC stuff, I was able to kind of put a blanket over myself and read and it sounds just fine because it kind of picks up the, with the direction of it is, 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 you know, pointing. And so, um, yeah, I was using that. And then finally, I, and I didn't want to do the TLM 103. I was like, I don't need it. Like, I'm good, I'm good. And then one day I was like, oh, let me, it, it was when the lockdown happened and I started to get a lot of requests from different studios of like, it'd be great if you had a Neumann TLM 103 because that's what they use in all their studios for animation and video games. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy one and see what it is. I bought one, put it in and I had been using it for a couple of weeks and I was like, And so I started, I bought another one because I loved it so much and I put it on, on my stand-up rig thing. Um, and so that's what I'm using for literally everything. Like I didn't think I would use it for, I thought I would just keep it for video games and animation, but it's been keeping up with the, the trailer stuff too. So I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, this is, this is dope, man. This is dope. So I'm going to join it. You're the last character that has been added into the game. Yes. And I do want to say, I have absolutely loved the way that you embraced it. There is a reaction of, am I going to get into like this world or, or am I just going to do the character and then move on to the mm. next? And you've, you've had the ability to move on. You could have just been like, yeah, I did video, this video game. And, but you know, I'm doing the NBA finals now. But you've you've stuck with us. You stuck with us, gamers, and, and we appreciate it. People are enjoying playing him and stuff, and so yeah, I've been trying to keep up with the community and trying to stay involved and and you know reach out because I've been I've been hopping in people's switches and stuff like that and watching their gameplay and saying, "Yo, what's up? Thank you for playing KO," or "Thank you for for the love." Because sometimes I'll have KO titles in there, and I'll get on Twitch and I'll see their video recommended to me, and I'll just hop on and see them playing or whatever, and they'll say, "Oh, I love KO," and and they'll kind of do the, the quotes and stuff like that, and I'll come in and say, "Yo, what's up?" I voice the character, and sometimes they won't believe me at all, like they don't even like ah whatever, you know, because I don't have a I don't have like. I have my, my I've had my account since 2015 and that's the only thing that keeps them like oh maybe he is real because he's kept his account that long but you know I don't have like a it's not the fanfare on my my twitch account so uh, but it's cool to see the reaction I'm about to go full killer robot you've been warned <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I it just doesn't get old it never gets old <laughs> Brimstone, I'd hug you, but it would kill you. I'm serious, no hugs. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking, aimbot. 
<laughs> I love that one. That's brilliant. <laughs> And it's that's so good. I read it on there. And it is that that line is so good.